A month ago, I got pulled over by the cops right after buying a gun. My first gun, that is. Now, buying your first gun is a very exciting experience. It's like a bar mitzvah, but for white people. So naturally, I had to bring the crew. I had my uncle, who was an ex-convict, in the driver's seat. And then there's my retarded friend, Gabe, who thinks he's Jeremiah Johnson, but spends every waking second on his phone. I mean, this is a, this is a pretty solid crew to get pulled over by the cops. So there we are. My uncle is doing 55 and a 30. He doesn't know his way around town. He's handing me the phone to, so I can get directions on where to go. We see the cop car behind us and we're like, oh crap. My uncle's gonna get a ticket and it's gonna be all my fault because I asked him to drive me to go get a gun. But little did I know, my uncle does not have a license. And now after all those realizations that my uncle does not have a license, he's gonna get a pretty big ticket. We have a freaking gun in the car. Open my lap on the front seat and there was nowhere else to put it the entire back was filled with tools and stuff the only place i could have it was in my lap so the police officer comes up and he's like sir do you know why i pulled you over and there my uncle goes he just admits everything that he was going 55 and a 30 and that he doesn't have a license and the police officer looked like pretty relieved with how easy that was that my uncle just confessed to everything within a second and then there was the gun in my lap and i kid you not this made the situation a lot more nerve-wracking because i thought when the cop would do the whole thing where he goes back to his car for 30 minutes writing down information and comes back my friend and i were joking that he's gonna come back and be like put your hands up I was so scared because that's definitely a possibility when you just have a gun laying in your lap while the police pull you over. But when the officer was done doing whatever he does in his car, he came back and asked my uncle to step out of the car. He started patting my uncle down, which we thought was pretty weird for a ticketable offense, but we're like, whatever. And then the cop starts handcuffing him and shoving him into a police car. Yeah. And then after that, the police officer called backup or something and two more police cars came in and we were freaking out like crazy because this was such an epic thing to ever happen. We didn't expect this to ever happen in a million years while we were going to buy a gun. Somehow it all happened. And not to mention, this is a black powder gun. If I was just casually reloading this, this would take like two minutes to reload one bullet. And the police officer is basically calling the entire your SWAT team there. But later on, we did find out that the police officer was new to the job, so it kind of made a little sense. So after they're done patting us down, they search the entire truck, and they end up finding one of those car lockpick Jimmy thingies. They were like, boys, uh what were you doing with this? And I'm like, it's not even my truck. And we're getting treated like we did all this. I forgot to even mention that my uncle's a mechanic. And that's the reason why he would have one of those lock picks. And then my mom shows up to the scene right after her truck's getting towed. And she's pretty upset. And I'm afraid that my mom's going to get a shot the way she's going to bitch out these police. But surprisingly, once in my mom's life, she stays pretty chill. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's how I'm here making this video. So I'm guessing you guys would like to see me shoot this gun for the first time. So here it is. really good all right yeah it's, it's nice to know this doesn't explode yeah she has it on picture mode the entire time so how do i start the video <laughs> all right time to get rachel but surprisingly you know once in my life once in her once in my mom life once in my mom's life she stays pretty chill